Thank you for watching our videos. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. This is a sample video and if you want to get access to the full version, please visit our website www.rasaf.com. Thank you. So let's talk about Jitter first. Um, so Jitter is uh, actually, the concept of Jitter is similar to phase noise, but uh, generally we analyze Jitter in time domain. It's a time domain phenomenon. So Jitter is a time difference between a measured cycle period and uh, the ideal cycle period. So we call this cycle to cycle jitter, but we have different kind of jitters. Again, I don't want to go into a lot of details because if I enter these things, it's going to take a long time and I don't want to occupy this course with these concepts. So just assume that for now we are fo focusing on jit uh, cycle to cycle jitter and you can observe it here. For example, if you have an ideal oscillator, you have zero crossings, these zero crossings, and they are happening all uh, correctly, uh, you know, the distance between these two are equal to uh, period and everything is okay. But when you have a no noisy oscillator, you're going to have phase noise and, and this time you will see that uh, these zero crossings are changing. For example, this one is happening here. It's supposed to happen here, but it happens earlier. So it means that if you, if you observe these zero crossings here, these points, uh, you have a jitter, for example, uh, if you, let's say, if you're observing this for a long time, you're going to see the, uh, this picture on the right side. So these edges here, they're changing with different kind of speed, different frequency. It may go slow, it may go fast. So once it comes here, once it comes here, once it comes here, like randomly it changes, uh, goes back and forth. So this is jitter. It means that these edges here, they're not going to be fixed. They're always like moving back and forth. And if you check, like, um, for example, the time domain, if you check I diagram, for example, you will see that this, this, uh, you know, these squares can be seen with, like, checking the I diagram. So this is, this is what, what you see, this fuzzy, basically, uh, edges. Uh, how we can find this uh, jitter uh, cycle to cycle um, RMS value is actually... Uh, we say that we have to observe this for a long time. We cannot ch check only one period. We have to check for a very long time and you can calculate like this, for example. This shows the cycles. N is your cycle. For example, 50 cycles, 60 cycles. So the T for the first cycle and the previous cycle. For example, let's say here my T is up to this point. This is T0, for example. Next time this is going to be another T, T1. So it's like this. So it's like this, and uh, you basically calculate the uh, jitter. So up to now, we kind of understood what is jitter, and basically jitter is same. It's phase noise, actually. It comes from phase noise. They're both related to each other. But generally, we observe the phase noise in a, spectra, in a frequency domain. We check the uh, spectrum and this kind of thing. So here also, you can observe how we can write the jitter or phase noise. is actually the same when you have an ideal oscillator, uh, it's omega ct, and if you observe the phase of ideal oscillator, it's, it's constant like this. So this slope here is equal to omega c, yeah, because this is time, and the whole this thing is basically is equal to omega c times t. It's linear and it should be like this, but unfortunately, we have a jitter or we can we have a phase noise. So this is basically our jitter, and you can see this deviates from this line. These deviations cause this fuzzy view here, as you see. So it, this time it deviates because here it's equal to, for example, omega c equal to t1 plus uh, phi noise t1 at the moment equal at the at the time t equal to t1. Yeah. So this is what we have for the phase, and this is actually the phase of our oscillator. This is phi, phi t of the oscillator. It's not linear like this. It changes. So you you might uh, confront this in many books or somewhere, and this is the explanation for that. And now we come to the most important part.